So, we are now at our destination, Southern Palms Beach Resort in Diani. Have you been there? Comment down below. Yeah, so we were in, in the other room and we, after we complained that this is not the room that we had booked, the room was changed and we were given a new room. Comment down your experience in hotels. I think for me, this is the first time I have had an experience of getting what I didn't book for and getting some sort of poor customer service at the reception yeah so let me take you to our room welcome to our new room you can see this one is very beautiful we got the twin that we wanted and the beds were lower than the higher beds in the other room so you can see it's and it's clean uh for day one you can see this uh, light which really mesmerized me it is the bedside lamp i was wondering what is hanging until i tried it and it's so nice it is a very nice concept yeah so you can imagine this is what we are moving to from our previous room if you have not watched the video please check it out it's just immediately before this one yeah you can see that light hey I was mesmerized, honestly. It's really nice. They have extra pillows over here duvet and i think i saw another one under here yeah that's a duvet if you want to add i don't know how they expect you to add in mombasa though then we have a dryer we have a safe but they said you have to get the code from the reception then the coffee station is over here you have the basics then you can just put your stuff there let's see what's in the drawer the drawers are empty. So, uh, did I show you the backyard? Yeah, this is our backyard. So, you just go out. It has two seats. So, of course, the assumption is that two people must be living in the room and not more than two basically so the view is the pool we are basically by the pool side and this is where we had nyamachoma a dinner then these guys these guys with red over here they're supposed to chase away the monkeys and then right over here there is a class which is ongoing yeah so basically that's it i hope copyright will not make me mute this clip yeah, but basically that's it the pool is all the way from up there there's a jacuzzi i'll show you actually the jacuzzi is here this is the jacuzzi 
this one jacuzzi and then the pool all the way down the backyard is an amazing view look at it guys so here is our room is there that is our room yeah this is how the background looks thanks this tissue was there and i think this is some dirt i don't know which clearly shows they didn't clean the beds are fairly clean the sink also is dirty you can see it was not cleaned yesterday you can see the the glasses these are the same glasses we had the first day the toilet is clean maybe it's because we didn't get it dirty this uh, these are conditioner shampoo and uh, shower gel shower gel yesterday they didn't replace so we don't have we didn't have shower gel for the day basically i used mine um if you watched the packing video then you i you can you remember i packed the uh, my shower gel but the bathroom is fairly clean i uh, guess because we also didn't get it dirty but obviously you can see it has some spots which means we could have done better for towels we only got two this one just a big one in our other room we got a big one and a small one which i'm used to but clearly i don't know why they didn't give us a small one for this room these bottles they are from our day one in this room um so they're supposed to give us four bottles of water you can see those are four this one i came with it the day before yesterday this one was there and the other one is in the bathroom yeah you can see it i'm assuming we should have brought us the shower gel changed removed the empty bottles and changed the glasses i mean this is what we used the day before yesterday why are we still using it they need to really work on their customer service and their hygiene okay we have seen how beautiful the new room is and everything and of course i have highlighted the issues that we faced um and now there were some different activities to be done when you are there first i am not very sure i didn't see those fancy clubs that you can see in mombasa in those bambori mtwapa and all the famous clubs you have had if you want to party but um i had some people went to some joints in the hood so you can check them out yeah those are for in case you want to do outdoor for indoor activities there is water aerobics which i noticed they are doing it at 10 a.m and the next one is at around 3 4 p.m we actually had the 4 p.m and by the time we were checking out another one was happening during the night there were different activities on day one we had quite some dancing partying and all that but it ends at 11 of course we all know it ends at 11 because of um the residentials you have to be quiet by 11 to allow the guests to sleep i don't know it feels like you're cheated but on the other hand it's the law correct me if i'm wrong but the last time i checked anything any place where there are residents you cannot have loud music after 11 and if you do you can only have it in an enclosed room with soundproof which is not disturbing the guests so we had also maasai entertainers and they brought in maasai market to the hotel so that was a good thing promoting the local the local people so that they can get to sell to the tourists both uh the ones who are from kenya and across the world what i realized about diani is that there's quite 
a huge um, number of foreigners visiting Diani, unlike Mombasa. The few hotels I have stayed in in Diani have whites and Asians. So uh, it seems it's like I said, I think in a previous video, it's more of a holiday destination than an adventure experience. And then after the Maasai, they, they have official dancers. They show you the dance moves in case you don't know how to dance. In case um, you just want to have fun and uh, you have two left feet. Yeah. So it was quite amazing. It was a fun filled night. And of course, like I said uh, in the previous video, it was an all inclusive package. So we could get all the drinks. EABL, of course, it's not everything. EABL. So you get to enjoy maybe your glass of wine or uh, your beer or your cocktail as you chill and relax. Yeah, but what is my take about all inclusive? All inclusive restricts you from going out because you're feeling like you're too cozy then you ask yourself I have paid for food here do I want to go out and buy food there and then still come and spend money here and then of course you eat too much eh, my friend my stomach is still in shock because the amount of food you eat the moment you feel hungry you grab something you feel hungry you grab something else so there is too much eating if you ask me my most experiences i think this is the second time i'm having an all-inclusive but my most experiences has been half food because that allows you to go outdoors during the day and then come back in the evening and even if you didn't eat a lot during the day there will be food if you are an adventurous person you actually don't get time to eat out there so this dinner comes in handy remember you have had a complete buffet breakfast and then in the evening you come to just have another buffet so for me i would always go for half food full board is good because you get your three meals but again the thought of you going out buying lunch when you have already paid for lunch in the restaurant is a new thing but remember if you're going for a holiday just to relax all, all inclusive full board is the package for you if you want to adventure half board is the package for you just have your breakfast as you head out and then you have your dinner when you come back in the evening and you're sorted Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new, kindly subscribe. It's just down there and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. We also look forward to your feedback as to the kind of topics you want us to cover. If you want to partner with us and the kind of uh, travel discussions you want us to engage in, we have a few experiences and we are more than willing to share what we have experienced during our travel i think in the next video we are going to travel back with you and have um our view as to the overall experience of the holiday see you on our next one bye